Hey guys, welcome. It's me, Mr. Paddy again. Uh, just want to see how you guys were doing. We're now in the month of May and it, it should be all downhill from this point. You know, we, we're kind of in the swing of things. We know what we're doing. Uh, you guys are doing a pretty good job of, of doing the work, getting it turned in. So hopefully from this point on, we won't have any, uh, any more problems. Uh, I have a new choice board for the next couple of weeks, and we'll go over that in just a second. Remember, you're going to want to choose at least one exercise per week, or if you want to do more, that's fine. The more you do, the, the easier it is for me as far as grading and, and getting grades into the grade book. I do want to, before we go over the choice board, I, I do have a few reminders. A uh, couple of things is, is make sure, again, that you put the work that you're working on in the correct slot or the week that we're working in. Uh, it, it is a little bit confusing when I've got to look around all through the modules again and try to find some of the work that you're doing uh, for the current week. So try to try to be careful of where you're placing your work and making make sure you get it in the right module. Uh, the other thing uh, for the new choice boards, I'm giving you some quizzes to work on by you go out, watch some videos, and then take the quiz. When you submit that or when you mark the module as being complete, if you would in the comments just say, hey, I did quiz number six or I did quiz number seven, uh, that'll help me and I won't sit there and, and make a comment that you marked it done but you didn't turn anything in. Uh, if you'll just put that comment out there for me, uh, I'll know to go and check the uh, the form and, and see how you did on the quiz. Uh, let me see. There was one more thing I needed to say. Uh, the other thing is, some of you are also resubmitting work that you've already that you've already done. As of right now, I should have graded everything that's out in Google Classroom. I should have graded all the paper packets that have been turned in as of Friday, May first. So I've got those graded. The grades are in the grade book. If you see that I've missed something, will you please send me an email, possibly attach the work to the email so I can see it, uh, and I'll try to get that fixed. But as of right now, I should have everything graded in the grade book. Again, some of you are going back and just resubmitting things that I've already graded. There's already a grade in the grade book. Guys, you don't, don't, you don't need to do that, okay? Uh, just keep an eye on Skyward. Uh, again, if you see a, some type of discrepancy in the grades, just let me know and I will try to get that fixed as soon as possible. So let's look at the new choice board for digital arts here. Uh, the first thing, the first two that you see up here is create with drawing tools. Again, if you click on it, it's going to open up a Google form. Here on the Google form, it's going, when you click on this link, it's going to take you to some videos. You watch the videos, answer the questions. Uh, you should make a hundred on it. It's, it's not that, that difficult. Uh, again, uh, the create with the drawing tools and organize the content with layers are both quizzes out there. Many of you are doing the quizzes and you're doing a great job with that. So if that's what you find the easiest to do, then by all means, go ahead and get those done. Uh, the next two down here, uh, one of them is design a book cover. Okay, wrong one. Uh, what you're going to do is just take a book that you've read, uh, your favorite book, and you're going to redesign the book cover. That's all you're going to do. So what I would do if you're doing this on paper is I would divide a paper into four pieces and try to come up with four different book covers for it. Uh, if you're using Google Drawings or something, just you know, divide the, the drawing area up into fours and, and try to draw some, some graphics there. Uh, down here are some, some ideas of, of how you can lay that out, but that's totally up to you. All I want you to do is practice some drawing. Uh, what I wanna, want you to avoid is going out there and just copying pictures from the internet and placing them in there. I really, guys, I really would like for you to, to try to draw something on your own. And then once you have that done, just go ahead and submit it. The other link that's out there is called Creative Environment. And basically what I want you to do is draw me your ideal work environment. Okay, if you're like Mr. Padilla here, when, when I'm sitting down here and working, I prefer not to have a, a cluttered 
desk or a cluttered area. Uh, I just don't think well when things are all messed up like that. Now, if you're sitting there doing some drawings, what does that environment look like? Do you like your pencils in a nice little can? Uh, do you like to leave them in the box so that you can see the colors? Or do you just like to scatter your pens or crayons uh, all over the desk and look for them and pick and choose? Do you like your paper scattered on the desk or do you like to tape them to the wall? Do you like to keep them in a notebook? What does your environment look like when you sit down and create something? Or how would you prefer your environment when you sit down and you work on things to be creative? If you could draw that out on a piece of paper for me, uh, I would appreciate it. And then again, when you're done, you're just going to turn in, turn in your work. So going back to the choice board, I mean, those are your four choices for the next couple of weeks. Uh, I don't know if I'll have a video for next week. We'll see. But if, if I do, it's going to be pretty much the same thing I'm saying right now, uh, because we are going to use this choice board for the next two weeks. Again, guys, I, I know they're starting to uh, lift some of the restrictions out there. I still want you guys to stay safe. So, you know, practice some social distancing still. Uh, take care and, and who knows, maybe someday I'll see you before the school year's out.